Plenty of opportunities available for the likes of Robert Owen to preserve his status on the tour. Getting to the Worlds will definitely aid that. He's looking for an immediate break back. Golden rule of the turn is to keep straight, and that's a perfect first start and a perfect second start to follow. Van Veen is right up there. Someone you expect to win titles before so long because he can produce darts like that. Yeah, this is third Euro Tour as a seeded player. This is absolutely brilliant, isn't it, from both of these players. 55. Sensible from Kian there, just setting it up, knowing that Robert Owen not on a finish. 60. January Couldn't stack those as he'd like, so Van Veen wants double 16 and he gets it. And it is the best leg of this contest so far, a 13 data. Look at those numbers. Yeah, Damon Hetter and Richie Edhouse closing out this afternoon session. That really should be a beauty as well. And Danny Noppert against Dirk van Dijvenbode, of course, the Dutch number two against the Dutch number three. 43, January 100. It's hard to take your eyes off this one at the moment, isn't it? Bullseye, and he manages to pin it. You thought it was a perfect guy, given how that first start had sat up in the 25 segment. That is absolutely beautiful from Jan van Veen. Yeah, these are numbers that we've become accustomed to seeing from Jan van Veen. 133. Did manage to average 114 last year on the Euro Tour in beating Damon Hetta. This lad has serious ability, and it's all the more remarkable when you consider that he's a, had a successful recovery from Dartitis. Can Robert Owen do the same as Van Veen? It'll be a different route. It's easy to say looking at the screen, but. It would, look, would have almost been better served, I think, going for treble 14. 17. The tops. Go start first. And then pins tops. Back to back, ton plus checkouts for Jan van Veen, who is motoring towards the finish line. 18 or treble. That leaves the bullseye. That's wide of the mark, and that could be his last visit. Can Jan van Veen add a third ton plus out? 88. Reprieve for Robert Owen. We can extend this match. Double 12. And that is a wild dart at double six. His finishing has been superb throughout this one. Not so much there. And this is the first leg where both players have had darts at double. Van Veen misses his first opportunity. He does not do the same with the second. And he's very realistic when he talks about his game, Ryan Joyce. He talks very well, very sensibly about the sport and his own place in it. As I know I can get up there and I can be outgunned by players. So I feel pressure at the start of legs just to stay with them. At the end, if I'm in a leg, I feel I can win it. Doesn't matter who I'm playing. 100. Andrew Which is quite strange when you have the scoring power that Ryan Joyce can at times deliver. Bullseye for Gilding. That is a beauty. 12 data, Andrew, Andrew Gilding. Gilding, bullseye finish for a ton plus checkout. Three breaks game of throw on. on the spin, Gilding asserting himself. This game, after two very lacklustre legs, is starting to catch fire. That's what he did, of course, at the UK Open. 60. Andrew's partner spent the match play. Hawking Andrew Gilding scarves, one of the hottest new bits of darts merch around. And in your wardrobe. Yeah, I've got one. 
paid over the odds for Ashley. Just wanted to be the person who paid the most for an Andrew Gilding How about this? To back up the 1 2 4. Yeah. Andrew Gilding knows that that was not even in the vicinity. And neither was that from Ryan Joyce. 87. Andrew McQuay, 38. Straight at it. Straight and in it. 13 five. darts. Up. Two legs, one in 25 Six darts from Andrew five. Gilding. This is proper stuff. His average has climbed a good 10, 12 points over the last two or three legs. One trouble to get to finish two trebles to get to a good one all three get to a great one 139. yeah leaves himself for two data brian, brian, brian joyce has got to go because if he doesn't he's in danger of losing this match one dart at double 16. Game that is eight, the strength eight. of ryan joyce's brian game joyce. top Andrew stuff from Brooklyn. relentless he's still in it He's outscored his opponent. He's got himself twice as many darts at double over the course of the game. And he's going to get multiple chances to win this match. Well, it's those steady tons, I think, that have largely been one of the differences in this match. Joyce coming up dry far more frequently than Gildin. 94. Andrew requires 76. To wrap it up and reach the final day of the European Tour for the second time this year. Great dart, double eight. 6-3 Gilding, 14 data. Superb way to close out the game from the former UK Open champion. And Goldfinger is through to the last 16 of the German Darts Championship. When he was at his best, he used to absolutely annihilate that treble 20. Yeah, was the biggest 180 hitter in the Premier League in one of the years in which he competed. 140. Really does power that third dart throw, and he walks with it as well. And he knows he does it, and he thinks that that's the best way to try and deliver it to the board. 60. Now, now he does he start on the 20s or the ball? He goes the conventional route with Burton on 116. The conventional route has not worked out for him. And that final dart does leave that double 18, which he's going to leave a lot. And Burton leave it? No. Sixty. His favourite double eighteen then. Game that's exactly why five. he goes for it so often. It's a trusted ally of his. And that's a break of throw for Daryl Gurney. Nothing scruffy or messy about that from Stephen Burke. Eventually setting up his best leg of the match. Fifty-eight. Gurney's just hit a thirteen darter. And Burton do the same. Good send. Good comeback. Oh, hang about. Double 16 for 4-1. That is a hammer blow from Daryl Gurney, and he knows it. It's not top level, this. The scoring has left something to be desired. Obviously, there was some messy stuff at the back end of legs from both players earlier. But Darrell Gurney, 92 average, 50% on the doubles, and that monster checkout of 152 when he really needed it. It's difficult to beat. He's going to set this up very nicely indeed as it happens. Double 10 for the match when he returns. But what's turned out to be a comfortable 6 1 win, which did not look like it was going to pan out that way after the first two or three legs. Comfortable it was, though. Daryl Gurney, a 6-1 victor against Stephen Burton. This is so, so good from both players at the moment. Three maximums from Chris Dobie. They're both scoring spectacularly well at the moment. If you are an aspiring dart player and you want to try and emulate someone's action, 
can't go too far wrong with Chris Doby. Yeah, not a lot that can go wrong with that. Action of Doby. Whoa! 180 apiece, but Mansell's only on 235 after nine. It's why Doby's got the luxury of going for the full first, then tops. Lovely check out, two apiece. The best leg of the match, an 11 data to tie us up. Must be wondering what he's done wrong. He's averaging 110 himself. Mickey Mansell's playing brilliantly. He's raised his average by a mere 27 points from yesterday. great deal wrong Mickey at all Mickey Mansell but this from Chris Doby is special Can he use that first dart no he 69. can't well, despite averaging in excess of one two three Chris Doby do darts away there from trailing again in this match but he now takes the lead and a break of throw. Stars could align and he could get the chance to get revenge on him. Yeah, Schindler Solovich. I expect a lot of bouncing around on that stage. See him missing. Save 20 for the ball. Chris yeah, Doby doesn't miss. Chris Doby. Nicky Mansell with a almost a rueful yet respectful smile on his face. He appreciates what he's being dished out to him. Treble 18. Oh, it's the wrong side of the wire. 39. And look at that, the one time, the one time in this match that Chris Doby has stuttered slightly. Mickey Mansell isn't there to punish him. He's not on a finish. 39. Chris, you require 66. Lots of options with 66. Oh, chooses treble 15. That leaves 21, and it's going to be five for double eight, you think? Chris Dolby has laid down a serious marker here in Hildesheim. It's an 18 darter to finish. He averages 110.64. A wonderful display all around. Six from seven on the doubles. His third highest ever average. Level 17. Would have left the ball for a level game. 53. Russia require 117. Oh, yeah, bit of a spillage. Can he tidy up here? Double top for 3 1. 77. Needed two perfect darts Nicky out of three, only years. got the one. Chance for Nick Kenny. He only may get one dart at double. The 12's route, and now 20 for double 18. Nice little sweep from left to right across the board, and that is very well executed from Nick Kenny, the Welshman, back in it. Two apiece. But in full flight, he is devastating, Ross Smith. We have not seen much of it in this game. But down to a finish after three visits to the board. This is the sort of thing you expect of him on a regular basis. Russia require 130. Can he use that? Work with it. He does. 98. We'll need to go for it with Kenny way back. Yeah, going on the 15s. 
Okay. <laughs> wow, what a setup shot that is for Nick Caddy. Full out of the treble 15 to leave the big fish. Doesn't matter anyway. Ross Smith levels this match up at four apiece. Now it's four all. But Ross Smith has just produced back-to-back -back legs in five visits. 15 darts to 14 darts. Has he got into his stride? What a way to win it this would be for Ross Smith. 90. He has had to Ross dig so deep. The scoring power has not been there for the best part of it. To the 16s and the 8s. Yeah, very nicely done. It's a lovely setup Nick at the end from Ross 71. Smith. This could get a little bit nervy. Nick Kenny. Get one dart. 18 for double. Oh, no, it's all right. Bullseye. Oh, it's filthy and it's beautiful all at the same time. Misses the 18, drags it into the four, still has the bullseye as a safeguard and hits it plumb. Breaks the throw. He has the dart. To save it, it hasn't been pretty. He's got one dart at the bull. And it is so, so close for Ross Smith. Nick to require 82. The 71 went to save himself. The 82 is to win it. And reach the final day of a Euro Tour for the first time in his career. One dart at double top for the Welshman. And he cannot take his chance, and it may be the only chance he gets. They've both missed the dart for the match. Ross Smith, double eight, to squeak through to the last 16. Good marker. Does not use it. The world number 10 might be going home. Nick Kenny just looks to compose himself. This is such a huge moment for him. You can see there exactly what Ross Smith thinks of those two darts. It's three for the match. Nick Kenny is second match Kenny. dart, and he manages to pin it. A huge Nick moment Kenny. in the career of the Welshman. He manages to make the final day on the Euro Tour for the very first time in his career. Flip round, hasn't it? Danny Noppet's now the man doing the scoring. Isn't he just? He's left a single to double after nine darts. This has been very majestic in the freeze. There's a break chance coming. Expect it to be one tops. It's nearly double one. Now for double ten. That's where he's been finishing legs so far, not on this occasion. Dirk once again just looking for a big score to ask a question of Danny Knopper, but he's not a man who tends to get flustered. Five. Sixteen. Now then. Dirk van Dijvenboda offered the chance. It's not a huge chance, but it's a chance. A good guide if he gets to 57. Doesn't matter because he's nowhere near it. 64. Danny required four. That was closer to double 19 than the treble. Double two then. That's very, very awkward. Even more now. No score. Never looked likely after those first two darts. Double four. Didn't deserve that leg, but he's got it in the bag, Dirk van Dijvenboda. Danny Knopper has let him in, and Dirk van Dijvenboda knows it. He has stolen that one. So, yeah, maybe maybe Dirk does deserve to be in the league. You can't take every chance you get, obviously. Second 180 of the match for Noppert. It was 
those darts he was faffing around with on double two. It just goes to show the danger of ending up on those low doubles. And particularly with the way that Noppert's darts behave, they stand very up, upright, so very difficult to circumnavigate. Double 17 now. He's found. Great setup shot from Danny Noppert. Once again, doesn't when things are going against him, he doesn't throw in the towel, does he? 36. Danny required 32. Just keeps battling. Making it as hard as possible for his Game opponent to beat him. 13 data Danny from Danny Noppert. That is the best leg of the match. You would assume a match between Noppert and Van Dijvenbode wouldn't be eight legs old before you get a 13 dart leg. This might be even better as Dirk kicks off with another max. Not been looking to respond in kind. And does do. Now then, are we in for a grandstand finish to this one? Look, couldn't follow up. Perfect first visit. Danny Noppert might. Yeah. Danny Noppert is on a nine dart finish. One four, one after six. We've seen Danny Noppert hit nine darters in the PDC. He's done it four times. He's never done it on a big stage. We've seen a couple of nine darters in the history of the German Darts Championship. Is Noppy? about to produce another. Double 12. Danny Nopper is a millimetre away from producing perfection. It could have been a nine-dart break of throw. He holds his hand up to apologise and might yet still lose the leg. Danny Nopper couldn't produce the nine. Can Dirk van Dijvenboda produce a 12-darter? to go to the brink of victory. Nine score, 94 left. Oh, it can't happen. Messi 29. built it up and up and up and couldn't deliver. Danny Nopper to break the throw. Last chance. And it is he who's a leg from victory now. What a leg from Danny Nopper. And it's still hangs in the balance because Dirk is doing what Dirk does, scoring big. 100. Not as big as he'd like though, particularly after that first dart. Danny Noppert wants 161. He wants treble 17. For the bullseye. That was so nearly an outrageous way to defeat his old World Cup partner. What has Dirk got up his sleeve? Treble 18. Misses the big number. Danny requires 25. He does enough to leave tops, but Noppert comes back. Nine for double eight. He's pinned this before. He pins it again. And in the battle of the Dutchman, it is the number four seed who overcomes Dirk van Dijvenbode four finals so far, won one of them, and that was with a 107.5 average in the final against Gary Anderson in Leicester. And the other three that he lost, well, lost them to Luke Littler, Gary Anderson, and Damon Hetter. Spectacular on the floor. But this could be spectacular from the ferret. And it is exactly that. Sees him win matches, but he's scoring. 95. Remarkable at times. The Winter Gardens. 91. And he's blowing the ferret away in that department at the moment. Ryan Searle, his first nine up at 112. Needs that treble. Not going to go for it though with Johnny Clayton on 250. 90. And the thing is, because his scoring's been so good, he's allowing himself that luxury, isn't he? To just set up tops, and there it is, his favourite target. No drama this time. It's 
180 number two for Ryan Searle in this contest. 177, Ryan, you require 130. A double five. Good. Excellent Good. stuff Good. from Ryan Searle. In complete control, sportingly acknowledged by the ferret there. It is now, though. 77. 77 from Clayton. 91. Big last dart there from Searle. Already taken out the 130 in this match, of course, but now the ferret is firing. Seen him do this already on double five. 120. Ryan Searle can't repeat the trick for a third leg on the bounce. Johnny Clayton really is firing now. This game has turned around in the blink of an eye. It's the best leg of the match, an 11 darter. 58, Match looks like it's slipping away from Johnny Clayton. He worked so hard to get himself back into it. Not done fighting yet. But he's going to have to rely on a number of misses from Searle. But he does not miss because Ryan Searle, more often than not, is so, so good when it comes to pinning tops. And he is there to get himself over the line and into round three, where he is going to face the winner of Luke Littler and Dylan Slay. Damon Hetter, of course, responsible for the best performance we've seen on the Euro Tour in 2024. 117 and a half average against Mansell in April. He was under threat earlier today, though. Chris Doby doing crazy things again against Mickey Mansell. Yeah, he's had a couple of hidings on the Euro Tour, despite playing very well, Mickey Mansell this year already. To be fair, the Euro Tour record was going to go. It would have gone if Hetter had finished the final leg with his first dart at double rather than taking an extra, I can't remember if it was one or two. I think it was just one more dart he took. Yeah, seen some monster averages on the European one Tour. That one by Chris Dobe in the end, it finished at 110, the seventh highest in the history of this tournament. This is now in its 12th year. Double 10 for Ed House. And that is a 14-dart start, and Richie Edhouse, who knows how good Damon Hatter can be, is stepping up in this one. Going to cost him a dart at double when he returns. Having to shuffle across. He can't find a way through. It's on. 16. Yeah. Binds it. Beautiful stuff from Damon Hetter. Back to back legs. Now he's had to survive darts from Richie Edhouse in both of them. But it is two apiece. chances every leg this might be a first leg where he doesn't get a chance and is it a sign that Ed House is fading as Damon Hetter Damon is growing Dubai stronger 80. double 17 no need for 25 and ball 40. it's not great but still going to come back with three darts for the leg And he does break the Ed House throw. To lead 4 2 in this one. Richie Ed House has been outscoring Damon Hetter for much of this match. 
Well, that's decent. The chance to stop the rot. But he has missed doubles. Only two out of ten on the doubles, Richie Edhouse. Just had to bring in the bullseye. He does, it leaves a two darter. So if Edhouse misses more here, could be game over. Double nine. Do not miss inside. But do not miss at all. And that's exactly what's happened, and it could be game over. The Heat to win it, 6-2, for a sixth consecutive leg. Great dart, double 18. And Petter does not miss. It is six out of nine on the doubles for Damon Hetter.